so I was having a talk with my wife a little while ago about, you know, cheating. And how cheating isn't just one little small thing. It's a group of things. So I went ahead and wrote this. Most underestimate just how much energy goes into having an affair. You gravitate, you share space, you plan. And then you start to go into trust. And eventually you execute your plan. You want to sleep with whoever that you want to sleep with. But trust is such a fickle thing. It is rarely an emotion that is stable. As a matter of fact, it only leads to compromises. You can't have someone of your own, so you share. You can't see them when you want to, so you see them when you can. You can't be a main piece, so you'll be a side piece. Like I said, affairs are full of compromises. But let's return to trust, the ties that bind in most relationships. Affairs in nature are dishonest. You go through the motions of building ties while tied to someone else. You build you know, someone else up, the memories, the routines, and rituals, and a culture all unique to itself. But you can never trust that individual because you know full and well where you got that person from. And when things start getting hard, you start thinking about how you got them, and then you can't trust them. The past informs the present. If you can cheat on one partner, what makes you think you won't cheat on another one? 